welcome back to another video guys and if you are new here and you're just starting to watch my videos I am Luke Dombrowski and what I do on this channel is I make ponds and I have fish tanks and etc. What I do with them is I grow my fish out in the tank that is in my room, the 75 gallon tank and then I put them inside of this 200 gallon pond right here and then um, soon here you guys are going to be seeing me um, build a pond right here and that is going to be the start of today's video and once they once the fish get too big for this pond and soon to be that pond right there we are going to be putting them inside of the 5,000 to 6,000 gallon pond that is in my other property over there because I get asked a lot of times oh where is that other pond the big pond so as you guys can tell I gave this pond right here a makeover today I built a fountain on this side and I built a fountain on this side two little waterfalls going into the pond with some plants behind it and the bird named Jeff. If you guys used to watch my videos back then, you guys know who Jeff is. Today we're gonna be removing all of the plants right here and maybe fixing the sprinkler line that is right there because we cannot have a sprinkler line inside of the pond. That would be uh, pretty bad. The pond would get overflowed all the time. This long intro of me talking about all this we are going to be starting to take out all of the plants over here and start digging it over here. I am going to be getting the same filter that is behind this. I just need to finish the pond first and then and I guess I'm going to go from there. I'm going to have a big waterfall on the back side right up there. You guys will see it probably within my next few videos. To start off today's video, let's get all the plants out of right here. So I got about halfway of taking these plants out right here and I noticed I was not recording and I was like, yep, once again, happens all the time. <laughs> all right, we're gonna go plant these somewhere else on the other side of my driveway over here. <laughs> I'm gonna take the rest of these plants out real quick and I will get you guys when I have them all out. I finished taking out the plants and now what we have to do is, you see those plants right there? Let me zoom in for you guys real quick. Those ones right there. Well, what we're doing with these right here is I wanna keep these for when the pond is done and I wanna put them around so they grow next to the pond. Because these plants right here look very good and I feel like it would help the pond out to look a little bit better. If you guys know what I'm talking about, just some more landscape around the pond. I'm gonna be getting plants for this one to go around the sides and also I'm gonna be getting water plants for the waterfall and basically down inside of the pond right here. And now I'm gonna be getting pots to put these plants inside of. Now I got all the plants inside of here. As you guys can tell, we got some pretty sick plants inside of there. They're gonna be good for landscaping. What I'm gonna start doing is I got a shovel right here. I'm gonna start digging it out now and I'm gonna start the ledges and see where I want to have everything set up with the rocks that I'm going to be having in here. I'll show you guys a picture of the rocks that I'm going to be putting in. That is what we're going to be putting inside of this pond. I want the pond to look really, really nice. A good homey look when you're going inside of the door. If I will stop all the talking right now. Let's get to work on designing the pond right here. I forgot to mention, before you guys start digging your pond, Make sure you have a place to put your dirt. I have a wheelbarrow right here to go put my dirt about 20 feet over that way and make not a pile but fill up some spots that needed some dirt and this is not going to be that big of a pond so it's going to be enough dirt to fill up over there. This shovel is not working out that well so I'm going to get a different shovel real quick. There we go. Good shovel right here. This one gets the dirt better. It can go through the rocks a lot easier too, since there's rocks right here. I'm going to do a time lapse of me getting this dirt out right now, so let's start that.
I want you guys to go subscribe down below because look at look at this. All right, I'm doing all this hard work for you guys to see this, and also I'm doing it so you guys can see the pun when it's done. It's gonna look very good. So go subscribe down below. It's getting pretty dark out here now. Um, I'm gonna do my best to get as close as I can tonight. I'll probably finish it tomorrow afternoon or something. You guys will see it. Let's get back to work, get some more dirt dug out, and then I'm gonna go eat some dinner. <laughs> Also, you guys, if you are digging a pond, you better watch out for sprinkler lines because I just ran into one right here. And we're just going to have to cap it off so there's no uh, water going into the pond from any sprinklers over here. So, as you guys can tell, it's pretty deep down here. Not as deep as I'd like it yet, but still, we're making progress out here. This light is very bright on my face right now. I can barely see the camera at all. We are going to stay out here for a little bit longer. I know I said that already, and let's get back to work. Okay, guys, that is where I'm gonna end off today. So you guys will see me in just a second, but I will see you guys in two days. Welcome back to day two of getting this pond all set up. So, we ran into a few problems, as you guys have seen. We got the PVC pipe for the sprinklers up to right here, and it's also on this side over here. We're gonna be connecting them back together later on in this video. So we're just gonna be digging around them for now, and let's get at it. It's so hard to dig here with all the sand like this, and also, it just rained. We're gonna do this probably five or six more times and have all the slopes and edges the way we want it to. So that is what we're gonna be doing today. I'm gonna try to do this in an hour and a half to an hour. Quick update real quick. I turned off the camera because I was like dying and I didn't really wanna film it. But look how it is coming guys. See we got it from all the way from right there all the way to right there and then it comes around to over there so this is pretty much like the outline of the pond right now besides right here because the piping is in the way I don't want to crack it and same with right there look at this right here it's a good looking pond honestly like decent size decently big bigger than this for sure and it's gonna be deeper than that also this pond I'm probably gonna have it three to three and a half feet just so if any predators come they cannot get in there and by the way guys I can 100% guarantee you it was not a bird that came and attacked my Paku because this pond's pretty deep and also besides that I've never seen a bird out here in my whole entire life I've never seen a bird by this pond or any big birds like a blue heron or anything I've never even seen one of those inside of my yard and also there was no marks on the Paku that could have shown me that he was picking up by a bird as you guys can see it's a lot deeper down here than it is up here, so I'm gonna be working my way over here, making it deeper over here and also over here to have a deeper pond. And also, this part right here is gonna be the deepest part, and then there's gonna be two little ledges right there that fall into this side. Bada bing blow, we got the thing set up right now. So now, we are ready to go, we're gonna do this as fast as we can in 10 minutes. I can knock it out really good, I know I can. This side's gonna be deep, and then there's gonna be two drop-offs right there. So let's get to it, let's get to work. We have the pond set up right here. Obviously, it's gonna be a little bit deeper, actually a decent amount deeper, but I just wanted to get it done so I could show you guys what it's gonna look like. It's gonna be deeper on this side, deeper on that ledge, and deeper right here. The ledges are perfect right now, and I left a little bit of edge right there for the rocks. So this is basically what the pond is gonna look like. Just a little bit deeper and nicer at the same time. So this is where I'm gonna end off today's video, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and if you guys have not already, go subscribe down below, and I will see you guys next time.